Hi guys, welcome back to Code Master Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, I've been asked if I will walk you through exactly how to get the answers to the four exercise questions that were at the end of part two of the 2018 ICD-10-CM coding guidelines. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to get the answers. And I'm going to take you through each page in the code book. I don't have them pre-marked, pre-tabbed, or anything. So you, I'm going to struggle and we're going to do it together, but we're going to find the answers to those four questions. But first, let me remind you of what the questions were, okay? Okay, remember, number one was acute cholecystitis with cholelithiasis. Number two was acute pharyngitis due to streptococcal infection. Number three was bilateral recurrent femoral hernia with gangrene. And number four, Glaucoma with increased episcleral venous pressure, left eye. Okay, let's look at this first one. Acute cholecystitis with cholelithiasis. So, looking in my 2018 ICD-10 CM code book, I'm going to go to, I'm going to first go to cholecystitis. You guys, a trick to the trade is if you have to look up every single word in the diagnoses until you find the code that encompasses everything that you need it to say, then do that by all means. All right, so I'm looking at cholecystitis. All right, and it says chole, acute cholecystitis with cholelithiasis. So I got the cholecystitis with, but I, and I need cholelithiasis. There's acute with cholelithiasis. Now you have to follow whatever it says. It says C, calculus, and notice the calculus has a capital C, gallbladder with cholecystitis acute. So I need to go to main term, capital letter, calculus. So I go back here to calculus, and it said calculus gallbladder. I'm on the main term, calculus, and I need to do it of the gallbladder. Mine's at the bottom of this page here. And I need to say with cholecystitis acute. You see all that? And you got your answer. K80. Where was I? Let me pull the screen back up. Mad acute. Cholecystitis acute. K80.00. And that encompasses calculus of the gallbladder with cholecystitis acute K80.00. So let's look back here at K80. Point zero zero. Calculus of the gallbladder with a coli with acute cholecystitis. Okay? And that's exactly what I needed to say. So that's how answer number one is K80.00. All right, moving on. Question number two says acute pharyngitis. So because it's acute pharyngitis, we got to look up main term pharyngitis. But this says due to streptococcal infection. 
So I need to look for a subterm under pharyngitis that says streptococcal. Can we see it? Pharyngitis, streptococcal, there it goes, JO2.0. So let's look up J02.0. Streptococcal pharyngitis. There it is, guys. All right. Moving on to number three, bilateral recurrent femoral hernia with gangrene. And what the key here is you got to find what's wrong with your patient. This patient has, in number three, a hernia. So we're going to look up the main term, hernia. Femoral just describes what type of hernia. All right. Hernia, main term. Come down to femoral, and it says bilateral recurrent femoral hernia. So, bilateral recurrent. We all see that? Does that encompass everything we need to say? It's a hernia, it's a femoral hernia, it's bilateral with gangrene. Recurrent though. Remember it said it was recurrent. So in order to capture everything we need to say, it's K41.11. Let's look it up. Category K41. For more hernia, we said one one, right? There's one zero, top of the next page. K41.11, bilateral femoral hernia with gangrene, recurrent. K41.11. Okay, moving on. The last one says glaucoma with increased episcleral venous pressure. So what's wrong with our patient? They have glaucoma. So we go to main term, glaucoma. Main term glaucoma with increased episcleral venous pressure. With increased episcleral venous pressure, there we go, all right there under main term glaucoma, H40.81. Now see that box that with the check in it? That lets me know that I need to go to that code and there's some more digits. H40.81. So when I go to the back and look up H40, H40.81 Okay, and this said glaucoma with increased episcleral venous pressure left eye. 840.8 glaucoma with increased episcleral venous pressure. One is of the right eye and two is of the left eye. In this case, it's of the left eye. So it should be H40.812. And that'll capture that left eye. Okay, guys, hope this helped. Stay tuned. I'll be coming right back with part three of the coding guidelines. Thanks, guys.